in the early 1980s when we were teaching in Nanjing University, it was a very, still a very restrictive atmosphere as far as religious freedom was concerned. But the uh, development since that, since that time, has, uh, uh, which is consistent with some of the changes in economics and even in politics since that time, has allowed for the much greater, uh, 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 you know, has allowed for the uh, uh, a much greater expression of of religious freedom, um, the uh, which you can see in uh, being uh, in all of the different religious communities. Um, they there is now uh, um, a much stronger grounding for the policy in law, both at a national level and at, at local levels. Um, the, uh, there's an appreciation, uh, uh, at least a public expression of appreciation of the contribution that religion can make to, to Chinese culture. And uh, at the same time, there are places where the policy of religious freedom uh, has not been adequately implemented or where there are still uh, restrictions, uh, and these are the things we read about uh, um, in in our newspapers. But taken China as a whole, the the, the it's uh, a former American ambassador said before he left his post that that China now has uh, greater religious freedom than at any time in its history. This was Jay Stapleton Roy, who grew up in China, and uh, was ambassador in the mid 1990s. Um, there are still tensions in areas of that. I think uh, um, there's a lot of questioning now about where this is all leading. Um, as the numbers of religious believers continues to grow, as the government in some ways tries to uh, um, respond to that, with, uh, but at the same time there's a wariness on the part of government officials about whether this will, religion will become uh, a, an area for uh, a foreign infiltration, as they call it, or, or t a uh, area of that uh, can help promote political unrest, and this explains the uh, continuing repression of Falun Gong and of uh, uh, some of the uh, Tibetan Buddhists and uh, and the Muslims in Xinjiang province. I tend to see that this is now uh, that as more people make use of the policy of religious freedom, in, uh, they wouldn't express it that way, but by going to church or by worshiping in temples, and um, it tends to expand the space that is given for religious believers. And I think, uh, uh, as in countries all over the world, uh, uh, and as a, you know, innate to, to humankind, that there's a, uh, a religious uh, um, dimension for human life. Uh, uh, an individual dimension, but also a community dimension that you see more and more um, evident in the uh, worshiping life and the public life of Chinese believers.